welcome back to Hair and Twins. Today we are going to be talking about questions you should not ask us. Also, you shouldn't ask other twins some of these either. Mostly us or other conjoined twins. People, People with one leg, you should never yeah. ask them these. Let's get on with the video. Yeah, never ask a twin, someone, people that look exactly like this question, are you twins? Because uh, we're twins, obviously, because of, we look like kind of. And we both have one leg. Yeah. So if we were, it would be weird if we hung out, we looked ex pretty much almost alike, and we and had, both had one leg. leg. It's, you, it's very unusual that someone would do that. Yeah. If you're yeah. a fraternal twin, it makes sense. But if you're identical... Not really, it doesn't make sense. Okay, we don't like, what's it like being a twin? Because we don't know what it's like not being a twin. Yeah. <laughs> so, there's really no way to answer that. Like, I could say to you, what's it like being a single person? Yeah. Wouldn't know what it would be like to be a multiple because you have never been in a multiple. So, yeah, just think about it that way. This question is personally just for us and the other conjoined twins. We were connected. We came out exact same time because of C-section. So we have no idea who came out first, and like whose finger was out first or anything because nobody paid attention to that. Everybody just wanted us to be healthy. And so they didn't pay attention to whose finger was the first one out. Or, and yeah. we were just conjoined, so we probably were just picked up at the same time. I'm guessing. Yeah. <laughs> Little kids will ask us, and every once in a while we want to play with them and say a shark bit it off. Like, little kids are fine, but when adults ask us, it's kind of awkward because we don't know what to say because, yeah. If we're, like, talking to them in a normal conversation, yeah, that's okay. But, like, but, if, like they, if they just come up yeah. and are like, what happened to your leg? That's not okay. Yeah. Don't do it. <laughs> this isn't a really uh, don't ask us thing. This kind of we is. don't we don't get this a lot. We've gotten this a few times, but I don't. Re the reason we don't want people to ask this is because we don't know how to answer it. Cause it's just natural, like how we swim. Like I say, we swim mostly like everyone else. I can't swim that well. I can swim, and it's just like an instinct. Like I don't know how I do it. I just do it. I think it's mostly just like everyone else. Yeah. Don't ask us like personal questions how, like how we go to the bathroom. That's weird. That's really, really weird. We're not going to answer it because that is so weird. Yeah. What if I ask you a question like how do you go to the bathroom? Like that's really personal. You don't want to be asked that. Do you have your period? That's another one we get. Yeah. We get another question like do you have your periods? And that's a weird one. It's not like we're trying to hide anything. We're just don't want to. Yeah. We don't want to answer it. Okay. Okay. This is a question we get asked a lot, and we get so bothered by it. We're not trying to be rude or anything, but we just get really, really bugged by it. Because a little history lesson: <laughs> the Siamese twins are the twins. We'll insert a picture right here. Are these twins? It's Chang and Aang Bunker. Are they? Names? Yeah. If you've seen The Greatest Showman, <laughs> yes. it's I'm the sure. conjoined twins on there. They're from Siam, and so that's why they're called the Siamese twins. And so every other conjoined twin is not called the Siamese twin. So it's a good history lesson. If you go up to a conjoined twin. Okay, <clears throat> I've gotten this one. I've and never gotten this some, question. I don't know who it was, but it was. Is it in person? I think so. It was in person. Probably like a boy, teenage boy, maybe, I don't know, some weird kid, I don't know. But no, we can't. <laughs> we can't grow another leg, that would be cool. Starfish can. Yeah. We can't. <laughs> no, it's not a thing. We were born this way, so that's how we're going to stay. <laughs> People say you can't live with one kidney, and it's totally untrue. Like, you can. You can, it's possible. Because we both have one kidney. You just have to live a different lifestyle than everyone else. Like, like. We'll do separate ready on that. But yeah, just like different. do extra things than what but you're supposed to We're not going to say because 
We're gonna do that in a different video. Yeah. Stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we just wanna like clarify this question if we can or can't because a lot of people like they ask us this because they don't know like the background of it. So the reason why we could couldn't stay together is because they gave us until eight years to live because we were sharing one kidney. So <clears throat> one yeah. kidney couldn't hold both of us. So yeah, that's why people ask this question. Thanks everyone for watching. Please like this video if you liked it and comment any other questions you have. And just to verify, this isn't like being rude to anybody. If you have asked us any of these questions, it's okay. Like, it's fine. It's not something we'd like to answer over and over again. It's just like, yeah, we get asked that, those questions so much. And or, they're just so obvious. And some personal ones. Like, don't ask personal ones. Those ones are obvious not to ask. Click here to subscribe. Click here for our latest video. And, <laughs> <laughs> and click on Emmy. Click on Emmy for... A random video. So yeah. Bye. Bye.